This is the kind of thing that drives the cat insane. Hi everyone, it is Wednesday, February 10th, 2016, and this is episode 56 of Sarah Nova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Sarah Nova on Ravelry, Twitter, and Periscope, and as Sarah Nova underscore Phoenix on Instagram. You can find the show notes for today's episode on my blog or in the Ravelry group for the podcast. And there goes the cat. Um... And do you want to be on the podcast, Corky? Why? What are you doing? Okay, anyways, finish intro, right? Show notes can be found on the blog on the Ravelry group. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, message me, send me a PM on Rav, whatever. It's all cool. Corky, you want to come say hi? Kitty, yay! So I have fudged with my camera settings a little bit because, unfortunately, it is overcast out and there is snow, which means that there's very, very white light coming in from outside, and um, the only lighting I have in our living room is behind me or off to the side. So I have the dining room over here and the living room behind me, and I have those lights off because it makes everything very yellow. So um, hopefully I'm not completely pasty white today. We'll see. Um, I have no finished objects, though I'd hoped. Um, I have a lot of progress on some stuff. Um, I do have some stash, and, um, I have a package, which I meant to show you last week, and I completely forgot, and Miriam, I got it, it's here, I love it, it's amazing, thank you. Um, and I got some, um, I bought some patterns today, so, like, sewing patterns, not, like, knitting patterns, like, actual sewing patterns. Um, and I'll, I'll show you those later, I'll, ha I'll, ha I'll pull them up on my phone so I can show them to you, because I don't have them yet, I ordered them online, because they were on sale. Alright, so... First things first, I think I've done the most progress on the Dark Mocking J sweater. Now, I'd hope to at least finish the body by the time I show this to you today. But, well, that didn't happen. However, I am like two full rows and some short rows and some ribbing away from finishing it. So, it's good. this is big. So, here it is. Here's the body. As you can see, I'm way down at the bottom here. I do have... The stitch marker from last week, which you can see there. So look how much I've knit since last week. Look at where that marker is, right? And I like how I did the did the gradient so that it's lighter up top and darker at the bottom. Um, and then once I finish the body, I just have to do the sleeves. So hopefully this is an FO next week because, well, the sleeves won't take me any time at all once I finish the body because the body is... A few hundred stitches around, and the sleeves are like 60 stitches around, so <laughs> sleeves will go a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, a lot of progress on this. A lot of progress on this. I'm very happy to have had the progress on that I have had. Um, and then the other project I've done a crap ton of progress on is my cameo. At least I think I did a lot. No, I didn't do as much progress as I thought. It was last week that I had the crap ton of progress. I've only done a few stripes on the cameo, but I've been focusing mostly on the sweater. So I only did a few stripes. Um, and I have worked on my socks a little bit, but those are over in my purse, and I'm going to be lazy and not going to go get them. Because they're in my purse, because those are my purse knitting. Oh, I shoveled yesterday, and I think I threw my shoulder out. I, it's not happy. Um, but I did get some work on, and now that I'm showing it to you, I need to put it in. Um, I need to put a progress keeper in is I have been working on my carry, which is, oh, God, that is really bright orange. Holy crap. Um, it's my point trifecta for February. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Um, Ta-da. So you can see how the eyelet holes. Okay, see, and it's less washed out when I hold it close to the camera. If I get my face out of the way. So here we go. So you can see it's got the eyelet holes, and there's a pattern to them and everything. So that looks really, really orange. Holy crap. Now I have to put a progress keeper in it. Actually, I'm going to do that now before I forget. <laughs> because otherwise, I will not remember. And then I'll be like, wait, what is going on? So progress keeper for the win. Because I keep them in the little pouch right there. That You know, yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, those are like the things I've really been focusing on this week is the socks I haven't really worked on much. I've only done like that much on the socks. Um, even though I have the finished one because, well, the sweater has a deadline, this has a deadline, and I was working on cameos. So I think this and the sweater are going to be my focus for the next few days. And, um, and that, um, hopefully I can get those finished quickly. The sweater has the deadline of the 25th. The cat has plastic. I need to take it from her. I will be right back. All right. So having the cat chew on plastic is a bad idea. So I just took it from her, and now she's looking for it. But I didn't want her chewing on the plastic. I don't know how she even got it, either, because she doesn't normally get in the trash. So I'm like, how in the world did she get this? Hopefully she doesn't start trash diving, because that would suck. Um, so I do have stash. We have actually a bit of stash. But there were sales, and they were special stuff, and yeah. So I got... These three skeins, look at the colors, these are Juniper Moon Farm Harriet Fine, which is baby alpaca and nylon. It's 75% alpaca, 25% nylon, and I got these three colors specifically for one project, the Drakenfels Shawl. Now, I'll show you on the, I'll show you on the iPad. Um... If you're not familiar with Drakenfels, it's a three-color um, pattern, three-color shawl that um, do, 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 that has a certain pad that has a certain um, look to it. But we're doing it as a knit along at my local shop, so. There it is. I have to do this at an angle so that you don't get the reflection from the window. But that's the Drakenfels. So I got these three colors to do the Drakenfels. And it's soft. It's nice. I love it. Mm. There were a few colors we could choose from, but my local shop owner actually specifically ordered this yarn for um, that pattern. So then... Um, I got some stuff in the mail. Now, these I got on Saturday, like a few days ago Saturday. And this is a, um, a special edition die from Jimmy Beans because their books for, their like, book theme for February was the Chronicles of Narnia. And this is the Aslan colorway. And this is Knitted Wit Victory DK in Aslan. I adore the Chronicles of Narnia. I choose to ignore the Christian allegory in them. Um, but... Oh, I cannot get an accurate representation of this color. It's actually better back here, because this is really bright in real life, but maybe not quite that bright. But it's not that washed out either. Like, there's, like, some middle ground that, like, I can't... About there-ish? If I hold them really still? Um, but the words. I got two skeins so that I have enough to do with them, because they are a DK weight, so this way I have 560 yards of a DK. Which will give me a really decent, um, shawl or something. I'll probably do a shawl. I mean, because, I mean, look at it. I'll have to alternate skeins because they are different enough that it would be noticeable, but, you know. Um, and then I went to Michael's earlier this week because I had a friend specifically ask me to make him socks. Now, I've known this guy for eight years, and when I first picked up knitting again, he asked me for a pair of socks, and I said yes, and I made him a pair of socks in 2011. And... He still has them, and he apparently still wears them, and he's taken really good care of them. And so he asked me if I would make him a second pair. Now, look, if somebody, if I give somebody a pair of socks and they keep them in such good shape that they last five years, they're knit worthy and they're getting another pair of socks. So I went and got so I went and got yarn to make him socks. So I wanted something that a pattern would show up, and in most of the um, colors I have, I didn't think would fit him. So I got this. Patton's Croy, which is the, um, flax colorway, but I, and it's solid, it's a solid color, so I figured I'd be able to show some patterning and some pattern socks out of this, and I got a skein of the, um, line brand sock, the sockies, in this blue, which is more like a teal, what do they call it? They call it snow cone! It's more like a teal than a true blue, so it's showing up as close to the color of my shirt. 
but it is greener than the color of my shirt. My colors are all messed up today. You're going to have to forgive me. I was trying not to make myself look like a ghost. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to make him... I'm going to surprise him with two pairs of socks. He asked for one, but I'm going to give him two. Because, you know what? Somebody like that, I consider it worthy. And then, because they had those tote bags on sale, these tote bags were um, 50% off, so I got two. And they're the knitting... So, this one is Yarn is My Therapy. And the other one is So Much Yarn, So Little Time. So, they were 50% off. So, I'm like, okay, that's basically two for the price of one. So, excuse me, crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. And then, lastly, this package. I'm covering my address on the front. So, this package came from Israel. Look at all the stickers and the stamps and the stuff. Not that you can see because it's getting blown out, but, like, and there's stuff written all over it, and, um, that's the Israeli stamp, and, yeah. So, this one came a week and a half ago, but I forgot to show it on the podcast last, last week. So I got a card, Miriam, which was really nice. Thank you. And she put a bunch of goodies in here besides the yarn we were swapping for. So I want to show you guys the front of the card, because I'm not going to read it to you, but I'll show it to you. Because um, she put, it's got, like, the leading tarot keys on the front, and then she wrote a note on the back. Um... So, but I'm not going to show you the note because, yeah, but so. Um, she put a bunch of stuff in here. There's some, and it's all Israeli stuff, so there's tea. I love the, the bags from Ikea. Like, Ikea is like a worldwide phenomenon, right? So, there's Israeli tea. And there's whatever these are. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, Bachba, I think. Is that a chet? Bachba is what they are. Um, there is no English on here at all. <laughs> like, at all. Um, so I really don't know what they are, but they appear to be interesting, and there's a baby on the front. And then, um, some candy bars. I really need to get better at swapping. I feel horrible that I didn't put nearly enough stuff in my swap package now. Some candy bars. And the only thing on these that's in English is, where is it? One of these have, like, a choking hazard on it in English. Yes, warning, choking hazard for children under five. That's the only English on the package. Actually, I'm showing it to you upside down. Here we go, that's right set up. So, these appears to be, like, chocolate and hazelnuts by the picture, and this appears to be, like, some kind of chocolate-coated candy thing. But I've been not eating those specifically so I could show them on the podcast before I attempted to enjoy any of it. And then lastly, the yarn. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So, this is from a dyer in Israel that doesn't dye in the States. I have no idea what the colorway is called. I think she sent me her stash page for it so I can look it up. Um, but, yeah, it's really nice. Um, actually, I'm going to do that right now while I'm talking to you because uh, if there is a colorway for it, that would be good. Um, let's go to my stash page. Do, 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 do. I'm doing it actually on the computer, so that's why I'm staring at the camera like I am. Um, come on. Why is the internet so slow? Stop being slow, internet. Thank you. Okay, that's too far back. Too far back. I think she sent it to me in a... um, She sent it to me in a PM. I'll look for it later. Um, But, uh... Yeah, this... I'm really happy with it, and, um... Yeah, uh, oh, God. See, now I'm looking, and now I'm talking to myself, and now I'm like, ah! Uh, Like, ah. See, now I'm distracted, and I'm not paying attention, and... Yeah, it's, uh... Here we go. Found it. Found her message. This is... Soul Wool is the brand. Tibetan is the yarn. It's a DK. There's 330 yards here. And it's merino, cashmere, and silk. It's 100 grams. And Soul Wool is... 
in Jerusalem. They are in Jerusalem. So this is sole wool Tibetan. Um, in let's see if I can see the colorway. Colorways. Is there this red? Zero colorways have been found in projects and stashes. Well, 24 stashes. Let's see if anybody has a red like this. I'm just looking, looking, looking. No, that's hot. This is not hot pink and purple. That, nope, not the color. Not the color. That's an orange. See, I don't know what color this is, but it is very pretty. And it's not what anybody else has in their um, stash on Ravelry. So, I don't know. Maybe if I go to their website. <laughs> See, now I'm looking and now I'm like, ah, I want to find it out. Why is their page not loading? No, their website isn't loading. No. Mwah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyways, so Wool Tibetan, Merino Cashmere Silk, and it feels really nice. Miriam, Miriam, thank you. This is amazing. I adore it. It's lovely. Thank you. Now I'll put everything back in the bag for now. If you can tell me what these are, that would be really appreciated. I have no clue. So, patterns. Um, let's go with the phone, because I have my Amazon app on here, and I can pull up stuff. So, um, I bought a few sewing patterns that I've wanted. Um... Oh, nah. Yes. Ha! There we go. So two clothing and one um, not clothing pattern. So I'm I am getting this um, dress pattern. You guys have probably seen it. Um, you guys have probably seen this one around. A lot of crafty people have been making this pattern, but this dress it's simplicity simplicity pattern. Um, you know, show it a few different ways. I like that version the best, but I, it's on sale for $3.99, so I got it. Um, and then the other clothing pattern I'm getting is, um, do, 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 do. let me go to my list. Because I saved it to my wish list on Amazon so I could find it again. Scrolly, 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 scrolly. Nope, that's not it, that's not it. Ah, ha, here we go. Um, so that one's for, so the first one I showed you is for woven fabrics. And this one's for knitted fabrics, but it's like, um, like A-line dresses stuff. So I'm getting these for the focus. Focus. Okay, it's not focusing, but you can see the shapes of the, you can, see, you can see the shapes of the dresses. That's what matters, right? And then the last one is um, a pattern to make some bags, like, like you know, like the zipped project bags like this, except these are, like, you know, patterns. For another. It's another simplicity pattern. They're all simplicity because they're on sale. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the pattern review website, but they are having a sale on simplicity patterns for $3.99 a piece, which, considering all of those simplicity patterns are normally between $15 and $20, I'll pay 4 bucks for them. So once I get them, and I know the amounts of yardage I need, I'll probably go get some fabric. I might order fabric online because it's cheaper than going to Joann's, because Joann's is unfortunately the only game in town for me. Like, seriously, Joann's is the only game in town. Unless I go to, like, Savers, and their fabric selection is crap, because it's whatever people donate. So, yeah. Um, excuse the yawn. So I got those two patterns. I got yarn. And I need to read this by the, by tomorrow, like 6 p.m. tomorrow. So I should start reading it. Also, VKN, tomorrow night. I normally do it at 7, but tomorrow night it's going to be at 8.30 because I have book club tomorrow night. Because this is only once a month. I have book club from 6 to 8. Well, 6.30 to 8. And so, yeah, I will be home until 8.30. So, VKN is starting a little later. 
VKN will start at 8.30 as opposed to 7, like normal. Other than that, I think I'm done. Okay, I'm back real quick because I forgot to do something um, when I was recording my podcast, so I'm shoving this in before I finish. Um, I said I would do a draw to give away 25 points for February for Winter Camp as bonus. There's a kitty up there. Um, and so I went to random.org. Get a focus. And I am going to do the draw. I had 23 entries, so I'm going to do two to 24 because my post is the first one in the thread. And um, I don't count because I can't give myself bonus points for winter camp. So here we go. So the camera will focus. There we go. Two to 24. I'm going to hit the generate button. And the result is number four. So number four is Owl's Flight. Congratulations. I will tag you in our chatter thread as well. So, all right, back to the rest of the podcast. Um, yeah, I think I threw my shoulder up shoveling my mom's driveway yesterday. That was fun. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So I'm just looking around to see if I have anything else to show you. If I have not shown you a project, it means I didn't work on it at all and you're just not seeing it. So hope you guys all have a good week and I will see you next time as the cat's just wandering around. Anyways, I will see you next week. Bye.